Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, or whatever the case may be. My name is Marcus, and I am the host of the Black Brazil Today YouTube channel, as well as the BlackBrazilToday.com blog, where I analyze Brazil from the perspective of race. So today I want to revisit uh, two articles that I did back in 2016, 2017. Um, in reality, there was more than two articles because I covered the uh, the event up up to and leading up to the 2016 Miss Brazil competition. So what I'm looking at today, uh, I'm revisiting when black women won the Miss Brazil pageant two years in a row. Why did this bother so many people? Now, black women won the Miss Brazil competition in 2016 and 2017. Before that. It had been 30 years before it had been a 30 year period where a black woman had won that pageant. And that woman who won in 1986 was the first black woman to win the Miss Brazil competition. So from 1954 to 1986, 32 years, it took 32 years to crown the first black woman Miss Brazil. And, you know, in the pageant's history, then after that, it took another 30 years for another black woman to win from 1986 to 2016. And then to follow it up in 2017, they crowned another black woman. Right. Um, so this is something that I was following for a while, because, again, when you analyze the idea that Brazil always presents itself as what they call a racial democracy. And then you look at it like. Race, racial inequality, discrimination is supposed to be much less in Brazil. But then when you. Brazilian elites and leaders of the country have always tried to compare Brazil to the U.S. in a more favorable fashion. But when you pull back the curtain and, and look at it, you know, and just look at it in reality, it's like no matter where what topic you look in, it's just like, where is it that you think Brazil is better than the United States in terms of the advancement of, of black people? Because the same history that the United States has where you go back in history and you're always finding this, this, uh, the first black person to do this, the first black person to do that. You have a lot of that going on in Brazil right now. So many people, and this is something I want to talk more about in the future. A lot of black Americans, black Brazilians as well, can concede the fact that being black in Brazil it's more, much more difficult for you to become successful. There's far fewer opportunities for people of, of visible African ancestry in Brazil than in the United States. So when you make that comparison, it's like, uh, you know, I don't really care about the question of which country is more racist. That's not the question. The question is, which country is more favorable for black people to reach a certain position in society? Which country has more opportunities for people of visible African ancestry? And when you look at it that way, regardless of United States past in terms of opportunity, there's far more opportunity in the United States than uh, for, for black Americans than opportunities for black Brazilians in Brazil, this uh, beauty competition, this, you can kind of, this is another area where you can gauge how Brazil wants its country to be represented in terms of beauty, intelligence, wealth, and these types of things. If we're always told that Brazil has some of the most beautiful women in the world. I mean, in reality, if a lot of people come to Brazil because of the quote unquote exotic looking woman. So then what I'm saying is people who are looking for just, you know, regular looking white women, they can go to Europe. You've got plenty of white women in the United States, got plenty of white women in Australia. But what I'm saying is when people go to Brazil, they expect to see typically a woman of color, you know, in terms of having a different type of beauty than they might find in other countries. That's a whole nother thing. I get the idea that most You've heard about this passport bros thing going on for the last few years. Honestly, I don't think men are flocking to Brazil to get with white women because they if they're from a country where there's already a lot of white women, that's not what they're really looking for. Let's just be honest about that. You know, uh, Brazil promoted its women way back as far as the 80s and 90s. They were promoting the beauty of the, of the Brazilian woman over in European countries. And you got European men coming all the way over to Brazil. Right. Anyway, that's way off topic. Right now, I want to analyze 2016, 2017, two straight years where a black woman won the Miss Brazil competition in Brazil. Before I get into it, make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. And with that said, let me get directly into the video for today. 
Okay, so this is a picture from the 2017 Miss Brazil competition. You have uh, Mona Lisa Alcantara receiving the crown from the previous year's winner, uh, Haisa Santana from Brazil, Miss Brazil 2016. She's passing the crown over to the Miss Brazil 2017. It was historic in that moment because two black women had won two, you know, two years in a row, 2016, 2017. So what I want to talk about is what I said, three black Miss Brazil winners in 70 years of the competition. The the old saying says the white woman or the branca for marriage, the mixed woman of African ancestry, the mulata is for fornication, and the negra, the black woman, is for work. This is an old saying that you find in Brazil that speaks on the position, if you consider the mulata part of the black woman, then this speaks on the position of black women in Brazilian society. And there's a whole lot of evidence. Go over to the blackbraziltoday.com blog and you'll see a whole lot of evidence of, you know, why people believe this. So today's article, this is from, I think, 2017. Why seeing a black Miss Black Brazil elected for the second time in a row bothered so many people. OK. So since the announcement of the winner of the Miss Brazil 2017 pageant last Saturday, again, I'm not I don't remember what month it happened in, but it was a uh, Saturday. It was on obviously a 19th of the month. The Internet has been divided. Mona Lisa Alcantara, Miss PYE 2017, which is a north. You know, the competition works similar in Brazil. The women compete to represent their state and then they go on to the Miss Brazil competition. The winner of the Miss Brazil competition goes on to like Miss Universe or something like that, where women from all over the world will compete for that title. So Mona Mona Lisa Alcantara, Miss POIE 2017, she was 18. She won the biggest beauty contest in the country. So what? So she's black. She has curly hair and she's a black Miss Brazil for the second time in a row. That was enough for many Internet users to to criticize the choice in all sorts of ways. Did you know that in 61 years of the pageant, only one black woman had been elected the most beautiful woman in the country until last year? Again, when she said 61 years, this was back in 2017. Now we're talking about the competition going from 1954 to 2024. That's 70 years now. Okay. That's right. The first was Daisy Nunes from the state of Rio Grande do Sul in 1986. She was the first black Miss Brazil. The 30 year period was broken with the title given to Haiza Santana from the state of Paraná in 2016. In other words, since the pageant was created, only three black women have won Miss Brazil. And this in a country with more than half of the population being black. Why has this never been questioned? And why now that we have a black woman elected again, is this considered a quote unquote quota. Of course, many people immediately supported the young Mona Lisa, but with Brazil the way that it is, with the hate speech on all sides, constant criticisms have arisen, and worse, many messages with racist words and generalized prejudice against people from Brazil's northeastern, northeastern region of the country, where it's primarily black and brown people. So this is uh, Mona Lisa Alcantara, you know, she's walking after she had just recently received the crown from the 2016 Miss Brazil. I've read irreproducible comments here comparing the differences between the two finalists. Miss POIE competed for the title with Miss Rio Grande do Sul, a woman named Juliana Muller, Muller uh, who came in second. And that alone was enough for us to read a lot of nonsense comparing the beauty and origin of the two. I've read on social media people saying that we won't stand a chance in the final stage of the Miss Universe competition. People questioning the beauty and simplicity of the candidate, saying that Mona Lisa will be embarrassed. I'm ashamed of so many prejudiced people. In times of rising feminism and hair and body freedom, a new curly haired black woman winning the most important beauty contest in the in the country is refreshing. I think contests exclude women who are, quote unquote, outside the norm and can influ influence the search for perfection in which women live. But facts like these cannot be ignored. May this episode be the beginning of a restructuring of this type of contest. Mona Lisa is a stunning woman. In addition, has all the context that a miss should have besides beauty, a lot of charisma and sympathy. However, I don't agree with the, the use of the term Brazilianess, what they say in Portuguese, Brasilidade, uh, Brasilidade, described by one of the judges in an open vote when nominating Miss POIE for the title. In fact, this stereotype is extremely weak for a contest of this size. No Brazilian woman looks more or less like Brazil, regardless of origin or color. 
What is this Brazilianness anyway? And just for good measure, other standards that represent this supposed face of Brazil, such as the Carnival Mulata and the, the Cor da, da Pecado, meaning the color of sin, are no longer useful either. So what she's talking about here is um, for years, the global television network, Brazil's top television network, would have this uh, woman, usually a light skinned brown woman of African ancestry. She would have a commercial, a vignette when Carnival was coming and she was, you know, very scantily clad. We'll say almost just completely naked on TV, except for some body paint. And that was generally the most high profile position you would see black women hold in Brazil. And, you know, they dis you know, they discontinued that, that, uh, those commercials because, you know, black women, particularly black women and feminists uh, protested against that for years saying, we don't want to see any more the, the naked dancing black woman on TV because these are the positions in society that Brazil wants to leave for the black woman. Either she's sexually available or she's available to, you know, for, for work in the kitchen. Right. The color of sin is associated with brown skin. So that's what they say to uh, Picado GG. Uh, what is it? Pick dot cor, cor do Picado, the color of sin, which is associated with black skin. There was actually a novella years ago that was called Cor do Picado, you know, the color of sin. Um, in the past, I really liked beauty contests, but after I realized how biased they always were and were being, I stopped being interested. Now, after the last two years, Miss Brazil has given me some hope as it has finally started to represent me. Again, this is 2016 Miss Brazil, 2017 Miss Brazil, Haiza and Mona Lisa. The more black women appear everywhere, the more they, we will accept our image, and this directly affects our self esteem. To see what, to see that we are integrated and beautiful, because not seeing ourselves is not feeling represented. It's as if we've been erased. After all, isn't it strange that we have more than half of the country's black population and yet we still miss out? Mona Lisa herself says she didn't recognize herself as black when she was a child and she wants to help black women to value their own beauty. She wants to open. She wants her story to open up space for black women to dream. Finally, a white woman winning a beauty contest is, quote, more of the same, unquote. A black woman winning is millions of girls who don't feel represented winning together. OK, so this is what she's talking about. Um, if you look at the history of Brazil's contest, as I've said, three out of 70 years now, there's been a, a, a black woman who's won the Miss Brazil competition. And another thing that she pointed out here, Mona Lisa Alcantara for many years, like many black Brazilians, did not see herself as black when she was a child. OK, so a lot of things have changed in Brazil as of late. So I want to highlight this because sometimes it's the pictures that you know, they speak, uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. This is Mona Lisa with Juliana. You know, she, she got more votes and she, you know, beat this woman in 2017 to become Miss Brazil 2017. Okay. Again, this is her walking after, you know, shortly after winning the crown. Haiz Santana's victory was covered not only on Black Brazil Today, but it was also covered, and this is from, uh, I think it's from Vibe Magazine. The new Miss Brazil is the country's first Black pageant queen in 30 years. Again, I think that's from Vibe Magazine, if I'm not mistaken. International Press also picked up on uh, Mona Lisa Alcantara be being Miss Universe Brazil in 2017, going on to present Brazil in, that, in, in the Miss Universe of that year. This is just These are just a couple of articles that was you know, feature obviously was in the Brazilian news, but this caught international headlines. Also, with the win of Mona Lisa as Miss Brazil, it marks the first ever back to back win of black beauties at the contest as she succeeds Haisa Santana as the new U Miss Universe Brazil. OK, so what I want to do right now, I want to just show you in a quick video what typically what uh, Brazilian women look like in the Miss Brazil competition. So as you take a look at this video, just just note the phenotype of most of these women. Now, clearly, as we're dealing with Brazil, and I've said this for a while, you have people who would be clearly considered white in the country. And then you have those who would be considered this what we call Brazilian white, because a lot of these a lot of white Brazilians who have more than just European ancestry, you, you, can, you can look at them and be like, well, she's almost white. I mean, maybe in Brazil, they might consider these people as the Morena. Or outside of Brazil, they might be just cast as being Latinas. These people who, you know, they're almost white. They're just not quite. 
So, then, I mean, when you look at these women, what, what do you see? Even if you were to say, OK, all of these women don't are, I don't know if they would be all considered white by American standards, but they're white by Brazilian standards. People have decided what they consider to be white and what they OK in Brazil, they're considered white. They leave outside of the country. They're not necessarily going to be white. That's something that I've discussed in another video, how a lot of Brazilians go to the United States being white all their lives in Brazil. And all of a sudden. They're in the United States. And they're, they're no longer white. I got another video coming up where I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But. So check this out. Um, these are just a couple of articles from 2016, 17, and 20. It says a uh, 2017 winner, Mona Lisa Alcantara, says people didn't accept a, a black Miss Brazil. She says she suffered a lot. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is a story about da da Daisy Nunes, who won in 19 1986, who was the country's first black Miss Brazil competition or winner of the competition. Uh, Haisa Santana, who won in 2016, speaks of the fear of competing in a contest because she was she was she was black. Um, at the time, only three black women had won in 64 years. I knew in 2016 that they were setting it up so that a black woman would win because in the whole competition, for the first time in history, Brazil, the Miss Brazil competition had six black women competing for the title. Mind you, there's 26 Brazilian states and a federal district. So having six black women in the final was that was also record breaking um let me see these are just two other states where black women won their particular state to go on to the miss brazil competition that was eventually won by haiza santana we have to fight three times as hard to be her to be her overcoming the odds bruna valine becomes the first black woman to win miss universe santa catarina contest i've talked about this also santa catarina rio grande do sul and paraná are the three whitest states in brazil where 80 percent of the people in those three states consider themselves to be white so that's always a big deal when a black woman wins wins in a competition in a vastly majority white state but look how people are reacting this is from 2021 this woman won a competition and somebody said you know this business of social inclusion is effed up Young black woman denounces racial slurs after winning the Miss. Uh, I, I don't know what state she was from. I have to look at this article. But, she, you know, she got negative comments after winning her state's title. Um, let me see. This may have been just a local competition. I'm not sure. I have to look at that article. But the point is, this black woman had won the competition and people spoke out. You know, I'm not one that's totally into the movement for social equity, quality, diversity, because there's always an agenda going on there. Um, after telling other black girls not to give up their dreams in a speech, black model is eliminated from the Miss Teen Earth pageant. I mean, what, what else can be said about what happens in Brazil when you're black, right? Um, the same girl. OK, Miss Alcantara, Miss Alcantara, Alcantara. Um, she she heard from somebody to somebody told her my clothes are only made for white girls. You know, three months before being crowned Miss Brazil, a designer prohibited Mona Lisa Alcantara from modeling with their with his, the brand of clothing he sold. Uh, Miss Alcantara heard another comment. She said people she became the winner of 2017 and people automatically say she has the face of a maid. This is what the article I just read said. Just some of the comments that you read online. Black Miss Brazil suffers verbal offenses, but this has nothing to do with race. Right. What else do we have here? Um, let's see, thank you, Haiza. Finally, after 30 years, we have a black Miss Brazil. Black girls can also dream of being a Miss. For the second year in a row, a black woman is crowned Miss Brazil. More black women have earned the title in the past two years than the previous 61. That's a piece that I did in 2017 after Mona Lisa won in 2017, making her the second straight black woman to win the competition. The first woman to win this was Daisy Nunes in 1986. Okay. Uh, 18, 1986, this is from the Black Pass website. In 1986, 18 year old Daisy Nunes became the first woman of visible African descent to be named Miss Brazil in the competition's 32 year history at that time. As the Brazilian winner, winner, she automatically went on to compete in the Miss Universe competition held in Panama City, Panama in July of 1986. So, more pictures of uh, Daisy Nunes. Okay. You know, I've talked a lot about her on the Black Brazil Today blog. And then finally, the representation of how Brazil sees black women. OK, you can see this in the novellas from the kitchen to the bedroom, a brief historical analysis of the role of black women in Brazilian novellas, television and film. 
And when you look at the history, you always see them in some type of sexualized position, being available to whoever, always being a maid, being the cleaning lady. The position, the roles that you see of of Black Brazilian women in cinema, as well as novellas, it reinforces the stereotype of how Brazilian society sees Black women. These are just some of the roles that some Black women have played over the years in Brazil's media. This is from the Chica da Silva film. This is from a novella, uh, A Escrava Isora, from 1976. So, okay, so this is why uh, Black women were pushing you know, over the last decade and a half, two decades with the rise of social media, black women have been have demanded like we deserve our place in society, not just to be, you know, presented in a certain way. As you can see, just some of the steals from some of the images of how black women are portrayed on the novellas. And people are saying, look, you know, we're tired of this. Why is it that you always have to portray us this way in the media? So anyway, having a black woman win the competition two years in a row, that was a big deal in Brazil. But the other thing I want to point out is something that I said. I said at the time, before we go too far in our celebration, let us remember this is this is simply one small step. We still have a long ways to go for black Brazilians to be represented in the same proportion of which they make up the overall Brazilian population. And this writer has no reason to believe that Brazil's media will easily relinquish the adoration of white women as the standard of beauty in any time soon. So why did I say that? Now, mind you, I said this in 2017. Okay. So why did I say that? Because if you look at the Brazilian women who were have been elected since uh, Mona Lisa was elected in 2017, I mean, look at the phenotype that you have there. As I predicted in 2017, I'm like, okay, they kind of crowned two black women in a row because black women had raised the bar. They were becoming activists online. They were demanding their place in the sun. So they says, okay, we'll give you these crowns 2016, 2017, but then we're going to go back to normal. This is exactly what I said in 2017. And as you can see, you know, hate this, you know, I'm not patting myself on the back or anything, but I just, when you see these type of social movements going on, there's always some type of hidden, 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 hidden agenda in the backstage behind the curtains. So anyway, I wanted to highlight that today because in reality, um, it's only been what, seven years since the last black woman won the competition. And, you know, clearly Brazil still has a problem with seeing black people represented in certain positions particularly those that represent the country. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to end this video here and request that you all, you know, uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. And with that said, I'm going to end the video here and request that you all come back. Check out the next video that I post.